Two down for Schneider, who's five for eight as a big leaguer all in this series. Up the middle, another base hit. Davis Schneider is now six for nine in the big leagues. Now George Springer hitting in the cleanup spot and DHing today. Springer lines the ball hard down the left field line, a fair ball. Schneider on his way to third, and he's got to be held there on a line drive double for Springer. Chris Bassett, 10 and 6, ERA at 4, 0 2. Swing and a high chopper to first base. Bell will go to second for the force play, and a Red Sox can't break through, nothing, nothing. Scoreless to the third inning at Fenway. Brandon Bell struck out first time up. And trying to bunt for a base hit. This one is down, and he's done it. A bunt single for Brandon Bell. He can do that with the best of him. Two down for George Springer. George Springer doubled his first time up. A high drive to right center. And dropped off the glove, I believe, of Duran, and then into the bullpen. And that is going to cost the Blue Jays a run as Belt, I believe, is going to be sent back to third, and he is. So it's another double for Springer, his second of the game, but a belt's got to go back as that ball bounced out of play. So second and third with two down. He'll be a little bit careful here with Chapman. If you put him on, you put him on, that sort of thing. I'm surprised they're not just putting him on. A high fly ball to left. And it's off the wall. Two runs are going to score on a big double by Matt Chapman. So they pitch to him, and it cost them. Six hits now for the Blue Jays, three of them doubles, and they've got a two to nothing lead. Now Biggio lines one up the alley in left center, and that's going to the monster. Chapman is in, and Biggio is in to second. It is three to nothing. And another two out run producing extra base hit. Another big hit for this team. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer trying to bust it further open. And a ground ball through the left side, a base hit. Biggio on his way home, and he is in there safely. Kiermaier with an RBI single. It is four to nothing. That'll bring up Davis Schneider, who is one for two today. And guess what he has done again? He blasts it right on out of Fenway Park. And Davis Schneider has been an unstoppable force here in his first three games in the big leagues. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's thinking right now the big leagues is way easier than the than AAA. But his name's officially changed to Babe Snyder. First and second, a walk and a hit batter. And Toronto looking to add on with Kiermaier next. And up the middle, that's through for a base hit. Biggio's going to come in to score. Kirk up to second, and it is 7 to 1. Two hits, two RBIs today for Kevin Kiermaier. And now here's Paul DeYoung. DeYoung to left, and that's a base hit. Kirk to third, Kiermaier to second. So the bases are loaded, nobody out, and it's top of the order again with Merrifield. Ground ball to short. And the only play is to first. So Merrifield retired, but Kirk comes in to score. The other runners advance, and it's 8-1. to one. So you get a run, you got two in scoring position, only one out. So the Red Sox bring the infield in, and the batter is Brandon Belt. And that looked like the old unintentional intentional walk, so... They will set up the force at the plate, the double play, and try their luck with Schneider, who is two for three with a single and a home run today. Ooh, and that hit him. That hit Schneider. He appears to be okay. That's going to force in a run. And it's going from bad to worse and beyond right now for the Red Sox. It's only the fifth inning, and it's already nine to one. Line drive to left field. That ball is going to be caught out there by Yoshida. But tagging and coming in to score on the play is DeYoung. That's a sack fly for Springer. It is 10 to 1. Runners at first and second. You know, for all we talked about early in the game about you need to bounce back, you need to put an awful day yesterday behind. This was kind of predictable. The Red Sox down 10 to 1. Base hit into right center for Chapman. Belt is on his way home. Schneider around to third. And another run in. Luis Arias is one for two. Had an infield hit in the second. Sets a fly ball to center. It is hit pretty well. Kiermeyer's back. He jumps and he caught it. What a play by Kevin Kiermeyer. Way out in deep center. Here's Schneider. A single in the first. He struck out in the third. He homered, and I mean he crushed it in the fourth. No Blue Jay has ever opened up his major league career with seven hits in his first three games. And now he lines another one to left, and that's a base hit. Belt around third and heading home. An RBI single for Schneider. 
His third hit of the day, his fourth RBI of the day. And this is getting really crazy, Joe. And that's ball four. Fourth time today, Kirk's been on base. And that means Dalton Varsha will come up now for his first at bat. Came on after the Kiermeyer injury. Varsha hits one very, very well to deep center field. Off the wall. Kirk around third. Varsha into third with a stand up triple. And it is 13 to 1. Belt takes a walk. And now here comes Davis Schneider. And he lines it to center. That's a base hit. Of course he did. <laughs> You can't get him out at 95. You can't get him out at 36. Davis Schneider has just tied a major league record by recording nine hits in his first three major league games. Held by Coker Triplett of the Cubs. Coker, you've got company. 